Greetings everyone, Matt Zobers with Aegis Learning here, and we're going to finish up our mentoring series today talking sort of about the summary and the ultimate goal of a mentoring process. So first, let's talk about that. What is the ultimate goal of the mentoring process? Well, it's to empower a person or people to take your place, to have a seamless transfer of leadership responsibilities when you move upward in the organization. It's important to remember that mentoring must be motivated by your sincere desire to help other people, specifically to develop your mentees and help them, that their needs are more important than your needs, that you have an attitude of gratitude, that you're trying to pay back, hopefully because someone else helped you and now you're going to help other people develop themselves. The organizational benefits that come from having a good mentoring process in place that seamless transfer of power that we talked about, the ability to re promote from within, and the understanding that in an emergency they have qualified people who can step into your role. Those are big. Remember though, you, to be a good mentor, must be a good communicator. You need to have genuine empathy and build those trusting relationships with all the things that we talked about. Share those things that are going to grow that relationship, that are going to humanize the relationship between you and the mentee. And those include things like sharing your failures and your struggles and how you overcame them, giving that person hope, providing consistent encouragement and inspiration to them. Always learn. A key to a mentoring relationship that we've discussed is that it's not simply about transfer of knowledge one direction. It's both parties learning mutually from each other. Great mentors learn as much from their mentees as the mentees learn from them. Now, a big secret to the mentoring process, if done correctly, is that you're, that is going to be your legacy. That's what you're going to leave behind in the organization. Now you might have had a great sales or you might have had a big accomplishment that people recognize you for in the short term. Or you may even have a policy or procedure that might be named after you or that you caused to be created. But what people really are going to remember is how you treated them and who the leaders are that you trained. So who did you mentor? Did they do your job as well or better than you? Ultimately, the mentoring relationship will lead to a great legacy if you properly train those people and develop them so when they step into your shoes, not only is there a seamless transfer of power, but they are able to do it better than you did. So they take all the great skills and competencies that you possess and they build upon those and they become better. And that's because of your investment in them. The time that you took to mentor them and develop them to build their skills and their relationship abilities. That is going to shine forth as they move up the organization. And ultimately, that's going to reflect on you and that's going to be your legacy. The organization will be better off, the people will be better off because of the effort that you put in. This has been sort of a great opportunity to speak about mentoring. And I'm encouraged by the things that I've seen out there and the opportunity to bring this message to you. This is Mads Obers with Aegis Learning. Thank you for your time.